Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and this is our last video in our series of Google Plus for your business. So, uh, some things to wrap things up. Again, uh, this is my profile. Under the About screen, this is something that you may or may not see early on. At the moment, I don't see it because my page is too new. But this is, the, this is one of the downsides at the moment for uh, Google Plus. Um, if you use, for example, um, Twitter, you'll know that you have an address such as twitter.com slash Victor's Bakery. Come back for the lectures on Twitter later on. And I have something like that for Google+, Plus, but not at the beginning, perhaps. Depending on the type of account, your address may be something like this, plus.google.com slash u0b158249. Believe it or not, that's the address to my Google Plus profile at the moment. Terrible. So... You cannot claim your name early on until you've used Google Plus for a, for a little while. Uh, you need to add your graphics and your text and add content and get some activity, and then you will be blessed with the opportunity to have your own unique address. You'll find that in the um, in your Google Plus page screen under the About screen. I don't have it here yet but you're going to see somewhere that it says claim your name so I will when I'm able to but I can't at the moment and then you'll get a nice address it looks something more like google.com slash plus victors you can actually have capitals there too victors bakery I can't quite do it at the moment but um, you know, once you're able to have a profile name like that, you'll be able to give people that address a lot easier. Uh, I also want to touch on, again, the importance of all of this, the social in social media. Throughout the course of the video, I've shown various techniques about getting followers. And it's not just an ego thing to have followers. It's important to have followers because you have an audience. If you mail something... In the, in the good old U.S. post office to a zip code, you've targeted, let's say, a thousand households. You've put your message out to a thousand potential clients. Here, if we don't have followers, we have no potential clients. So throughout the various techniques that I talked about in previous videos, we uh, try to get followers. And I want to reiterate here then about the interactivity, the interaction part. I've got a notification on top here. Uh, that's what I want to see. Every time I log in, I want to see some notifications and then deal with them. So again, I haven't seen what these are yet. Hopefully they're good. But let's see some tactics on how we can um, um, get positive interaction. So I'm going to click. And, um, well, not too earth-shattering. Actually, there's a good one here. Well, first of all, welcome to our kitchen. This event is starting now. Let others know. Uh, you can click there and then... Um, share that and such, but the more important one is Christopher Conkle added you to my circle, so I've got a follower. I've got an audience member now that when I post something, they could see it. So I'm going to click on there, notification, and I can of course simply select to add. Now I don't speak Hungarian, I'm going to say. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, I'm going to follow them. I'm going to add them under foodies. So now we've made a reciprocal connection. And I can click their profile to read their profile completely. Now that we're connected, I should be able to see more content. Sometimes you don't see any content until you've made a connection. So he's got 4,040 followers and 17 million views. Worked at Hotel Marisa La Bauli Franja, lived in Vaitla, Britannia. So, um, this person um, seems to be posting a lot of uh, similar content. Um, it looks very tasty. So then you can interact with them and... Um, that's the social in social media. So again, this is all what you make of it. 
go back through my videos, um, try the techniques, don't be afraid to make mistakes. This is all um, ephemeral if you want. I was doing real things with a fake account, and that's fine, because when this is over, I'm going to go to my settings screen, and at the bottom, delete the page. Once I've deleted it, it's going to be... Um, uh, all the content that I've posted will be removed, and if you're fine with that, then then you can do it. But hopefully in this series of videos you found the importance of Google+, uh, you've come to understand why it's useful, you've come to understand that it's not complicated, it's time-consuming, but if you do a little bit at a time, you should be able to uh, get your your uh, your results. Let me also actually take a moment to plug something. Uh, I've written a blog post that you can get some tips on Google Plus. So you can go to PMD uh, Interactive dot com slash blog. PMD Interactive dot com slash blog. And here you'll get various uh, blog posts on a variety of useful topics. The one that you might care about at the moment is Make It Work For You, Google+. Plus. Google+, Plus is the newest kid on the social media block. Why would you want to dip your toe in the waters of yet another social network, you may ask? Here's how to make it work for you. So read that blog post. It's a straightforward top five tips on how to use Google+. Plus. And so... That might be something you want to read up on to give you even more knowledge of Google+. So thank you for watching this video, and come back for more. We'll be touching on Twitter, Facebook, and more.